and shall be cast out in the outer darkness where they are weeping and gnashing their teeth. Mm -hmm. He gave a story about a man that came into the wedding, and, and the, the major deal, the head of the, the wedding party said, How come you in here without a wedding gun? Mm -hmm. And when he could answer correctly, the, 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 he had the, the, the gods throw him out. But the Bible said he threw him out of the outer darkness where they're weeping mm. and gnashing okay. of teeth. Amen. Amen. Isaiah prophesied and said that God would clothe a beautified meat with the robe of salvation. Amen. That is the way to God. So unless a person is born again, they have no accident. Amen. Amen. So without being born again, you don't have a wedding. No. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. You be saying that song, I got my ticket, Lord, can I ride? Got my ticket, Lord, can I ride? Oh, what is the ticket? Thank you. If any man have not the Spirit of Christ, Romans 8 9, he's done it. Amen. Amen. And I think Paul said somewhere about Christ is in you except you be mm. reprobate. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. So we got to understand that God made the way of salvation. God made it uh, possible for mankind to be saved. Amen. We cannot rewrite the book. Thank you. We cannot rewrite the way. He said, I am the way. Yes. The truth Amen. and the life. Amen. No man can come unto the Father except that's St. John 4 and 6, 14, 14, chapter 6, verse mm -hmm. 1. No man can come to the Father except he come by me. He did not mention nothing about Elijah Muhammad or Muhammad Elijah. Amen. He didn't say nothing about Confucius. Mm -hmm. Hello, he didn't say nothing about Buddha. Amen. He didn't say nothing about all the other gods. He said, except you come by me, you can in no wise enter in. Amen. Hello. Amen. You come any other way. Come as a thief over the wall. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, the Creator, said. Amen. So you can choose to try to come another way, but in the end of the story, you're going to be cast out and out of darkness with weeping and gnashing of teeth. So let's align ourselves, saints of God. Let's align ourselves, children of God, with Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, and not be ashamed because they're allowing the Islam and all that other stuff to come to the country and try to take over. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have brothers and sisters around the world. I'm yes, through the right. open door and, and the voice of martyrs. I get that magazine all the time. I hear about how many of our people are being killed on a continual basis daily Day. for the call of Christ. Yeah. People over in the country won't even stand up. In this country, the United States, where we're free right now to stand up for Jesus, mm -hmm. they won't even stand up for them. Compromise and going over with anything just to keep this way of life. Mm -hmm. Paul said, Demons having loved this life has forsaken me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hello. So there will be many, just like the uh, many demons in these days, mm -hmm. that will forsake us because they love this life. Mm -hmm. But I gave up mine. Amen. If one die of all, then all are dead. All are dead. And they that live yeah. should no longer live to themselves, yeah. but under Jesus of Nazareth, who died for them. Amen. So I gave mine up Amen. years ago, decades ago. Yeah. I've been falling and stumbling and fumbling, but I've been falling. Fighting, crashing, crawling. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But I've been following. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the only thing that the neighbor be to be able to stay focused was him. Mm -hmm. He sent the spirit, Galatians 4 and 6, with his son into my heart, crying, Abba, Father. So it's only Jesus in me by the Holy Ghost that the neighbor be to stay on track, on focus. Amen. Well, 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says, Paul writes with Timothy his son, for God has not given us, God has not given us the spirit of fear. I'm not saying you're going to have a spirit of fear. I'm not saying that you didn't end up with one. But God didn't give it to you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I don't want anything that God didn't give me. Amen. Thank you. That's why I fight against sickness and disease. That's why I stand against poverty and lack. Amen. That's why I refuse to get played for sin. That's right. Amen. God did not. God didn't give it to me. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. So why would I accept it? Mm. Don't want it, don't give it. Amen. I don't accept it. Amen. They bring back by the house and what you didn't order. Wrong house. Amen. Amen. Now return the sender. 
Amen. 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 For he didn't give us the spirit of fear. Thank you. Right? Amen. But what did he give us? Power. But of power. power. Amen. Amen. And of love. Um, and of a sound mind. mind. Somebody say sound mind. Sound mind. mind. What do you mean have a sound mind? Yeah. Be sober mind. Yeah. Rational mind. Amen. 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 When you find people unreasonable, unrational, mm -hmm. move. Amen. You're right. Because an unreasonable person, the scripture said, is worse than the wicked man. Amen. And you know what wicked people do, do you? Mm -hmm. you run up on somebody that's unreasonable, move. Amen. 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 And you would think that human beings would be reasonable. That we could carry on a dialect, even though we have different uh, uh, perceptions of things, different uh, 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 opinions about things. You think we could just talk about it and share it without getting, coming to blows? Amen. That's right. Without making mollycocks and going fire at people, mm -hmm. burning down buildings and stuff. Amen. You know, who act like that? Amen. The wicked. The wicked. Wicked people act like that. They can't get their way, they start trying to destroy everything around. I don't know what it is about our people, though. We won't go destroy the folk that we ain't with. We're going to destroy the people that folk we love. Don't make no sense to me. If I'm mad that you're not going to take it out on you, I ain't going to take it out on my mama. Amen. Amen. I'm a brother. Amen. I'm a neighbor. Amen. I'm going to take it out on you. Amen. That's the mark of a coward. Y'all know that? Yeah. And they're going to slip up behind somebody here in the back of the head. What kind of mess is that? That's, that's, a, that's a way of a coward. Yes. And then they ain't got the, we got leaders, they ain't got enough boldness to come out on national TV and right. announce it. Right. Afraid. Amen. Afraid. Amen. The spirit of fear. God did not give them the spirit of fear. But a power. Amen. When they come out of people, I, there was a time I could fight and defend myself probably against four or five people. Because mm -hmm. I was crazy. Amen. <laughs> but I woke up one day and I realized that wasn't going to be in me. Amen. Amen. That had no place in my life. It had to go. It took Amen. me 10 years to get it out. It gone. Now you're going to keep me here. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And I am fight. I'm going to forgive you. Hello. Go on and be with Jesus. Amen. Let you deal with the guilt. Thank you. I'll be crazy. No, I don't ever give up my life. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm going to try to save it. Amen. He that saved the seek the Savior might go lose it. Amen. Right. He that the lose it for my sake, says the Lord Jesus. To gain it and life eternal. See, what most people don't understand, kill me, and I'm going to be raised up. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to live with you. Amen. I, I kill you, and you ain't right. Mm -hmm. Oh, be under you. Mm -hmm. I, hopefully, I can get right out there and kill you. Amen. <laughs> right. But I don't plan on doing it. I don't want to find out, saints. I don't want to find out. Amen. I don't want that kind of guilt on me. Because you got to be able to forgive yourself, too. Amen. So I, I don't want really to kind of get on me. So if they want to take me out, take me out. Mm -hmm. I don't think they can do it, but if they want to, then they can. And you know, it must be God's will. Amen. Amen. You mm -hmm. want to die anyway. No, I already died, dummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to live. Amen. Eternal. Amen. With Yahweh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your sure. Mm -hmm. That should come. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 That's my goal. Amen. Thank you. I want that glorified body that'll never go. We know yeah. that never go see glory. Yeah. Amen. Amen. There are times I'll be trying to do things, come to things, I get tired and have to rest. Amen. Well, when I get my new body, I won't have to rest. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, right on doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, stop. Amen. Look at the neighbor say, because that body. Yeah, never grow tired. Never, never get sick. Never, never grow old. Never, 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 never die. Never die. Never die. Never die. Amen. Amen. I hope I help somebody understand what I'm talking about so they don't go out and get foolish or she go tell people that our pastor want to die. He always died. Hallelujah. So if you want to tell them anything, say our pastor died. Amen. But yet he's still living. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank how he died and he's still living. Figure it out. <laughs> Amen. 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 But they're, you know they're afraid to say anything because they're afraid to die. Mm -hmm. But God has what the Bible said in the second chapter, he was the 14th verse. He took a flesh and blood. Uh, yeah. That through death. He destroyed him that had the power of death, thereby delivering you and I who all my lifetime was suffered to punish uh -huh. through the fear, fear of death. Yeah. Once you get delivered from the fear of death, what you gonna do? Amen. Amen. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Reason why most of y'all can't do what you're supposed to be doing for God because you're afraid of dying. 
That's it. Amen. I know I ain't. I'm afraid I'm going to lose something. No, the ultimate end of losing something is you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. That's already right. You don't do all you're supposed to do for God. But you're scared of that. Some people talking about, well, I didn't experience nothing yet. What do you want to experience? Mm -hmm. You crazy? Mm -hmm. You eat? You want clothes? Most of us driven cars. Most of them stayed in motel. Mm -hmm. Most of us that ate in some kind of restaurant. I might have been McDonald's, but it was restaurant. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amen. So what is, is more is that? Mm -hmm. What more do you need to experience? There are only three experiences in this earth. That is the desire of the eye, desire of the flesh, and a position in life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So what, is, what, what else is that experience? Well, I want to be like, see, there you go. Now you find a city. You're coveting. Mm. God said, thou shalt not covet. Amen. That's one of the commandments. Amen. So when you're looking at what everybody else got, want to be like them, that's coveting. Mm. Repent. Amen. And get right with God. Amen. Because we cannot walk in what I'm talking about, dealing with, without letting go of the flesh. Amen. Mm. You can't. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but if you're in the flesh, you're going to be afraid. Amen. And that's Amen. what's going on around us everywhere now. Amen. People are afraid they're going to lose something. Afraid. afraid they're not going to get something. Mm -hmm. Mad because they don't have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the people are talking about, uh, when is it going to be my time? Jesus said, when he comes. When he comes. <laughs> when he comes. Oh, he bring his reward with him. Praise. Has he come yet? Amen. No. No. So why are you worrying about getting your own if he had come yet? Amen. So mess around and worrying about getting some kind of material thing. Mm -hmm. And when he comes, you're going to get some spiritual torment. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call fire. Amen. 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 We want to please him so that when he comes, he may say, well done. Amen. 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 Enter into the joy of your Lord. Yes. And take your rest. That's what we strive for. Yeah. And born again believers. Mm -hmm. Now there are those that are among us that are not born again believers and they're religious. And their whole goal is to use religion to obtain what they want in this life. Mm -hmm. That's you. Do what you do. Mm -hmm. That's it. Do you. <laughs> My desire is to get what he got for me. Thank you. Amen. 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 I can learn from other people's experiences. Mm -hmm. What about you? Amen. Hallelujah. The Apostle Paul was a man of God. He believed. Mm -hmm. And when he spoke of himself, he said, concerning the righteousness of the law, he was blameless. Mm -hmm. He was a Pharisee of the Pharisee. Mm -hmm. He was of the tribe of Benjamin, mm -hmm. circumcised the eighth day. Mm -hmm. But you know what Paul said? He counted all the laws. Mm. He got all that word he gained in Christ he lost. lost. So that he can obtain under the excellency of the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That he may obtain under the resurrection of the dead. That he might receive that prize of the high calling of God that mm. is in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Paul counted all that other stuff. Lost. Lost. So that he can obtain the mark of the high calling of God that is in Christ Jesus. By the way, you don't count it all off. Amen. I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And in order to get there, I need that spirit of power. We can't make it without him. Amen. Jesus actually said as a parable that he gave. He said in the tenth chapter of the book of and the brethren was, you know, arguing and trying to figure out, well, if money can't save us, then how are we going to be saved? Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, with man, it is impossible, but all things are possible with God. Amen. You can't save yourself. Amen. It is a spiritual rebirth <coughs> that is done by this person that we call the spirit of power. Amen. 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 So, and I, I want the emphasis to be on the fact that it's him, the spirit of power, the Holy Ghost. The paracleto wants to sit alongside the help us. It's his power, not our power. Thank Amen. God. What we have been given is the spirit of promise. Amen. The Holy Ghost. 
Amen. Amen. He enables us with divine ability. I need to let that soak in because some people can't get that yet. He, the Holy Ghost, <coughs> equips you with divine ability. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, the gifts are not in you. The power is not in you. The ability is not in you. The accept is the Holy Ghost in you. So that's what I'm saying. So that's the only reason it's in you because the Holy Ghost, the, the, all that I just spoke about is in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The Spirit of God, the divine parent of So in order to be able to operate in that realm, flesh has to be let go of. Amen. Look at your name. Say the flesh. The flesh. Prophet is nothing. Prophet is nothing. It is the spirit, the spirit that makes a lie. That makes a lie. Hallelujah. Paul said in my faith, there was no good thing. Amen. Huh? Amen. Jeremiah said, Christ be the man that make a flesh his own. And that trust him in me. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't. Mm -hmm. What James say? It's a vapor. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. It's like a flower that blossoms mm -hmm. and faded away. Amen. That's all flesh is. That's so. But the spirit, and, I, and I'm going to jump past that and say, the word of God lives in the body. Yeah. yeah. Now watch this. He that doeth the will of God. Yeah. Abide for oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to do the will. Amen. Why? So I can abide for hell. Thank you, Lord. I want to do God's will so I can abide for hell. Yeah. What, what, what? Pastor, what happened when your flesh go back to the devil? That's not me. That's my yeah. earth suit. Mm -hmm. We've already dealt with that, but I hear it for those that are just tuning in. Mm -hmm. Man is a spirit being that possesses a soul mm -hmm. and lives in a body. What created the soul was when the spirit, everybody turn to the second, second chapter of James. What created the soul was when the spirit hit the body. So what is the soul about? The soul is what makes you you. And me, me. Amen. The soul is what makes you you and me, me. That's so wonderful that the song of Holy Spirit is very severe, sharp, heavy. I bind that spirit of the firmament in Lord. the name of Jesus of Nazareth, and I cast it out now. Jesus. And I speak healing, and whatever I order be put back in order, be healed now in Jesus' name. So in the, the second chapter of the book of James, deal with this. This, this is what James says, 26 verse. Mm -hmm. But as a body without the spirit is dead, also, faith without works is dead. But I want to talk about that first part. As a body without the spirit, it is your spirit that gives your body life. But when, you, when God breathes in the man's nostrils, the breath of life, when he breathes in his nostrils, the breath of life, that was spirit. Mm -hmm. Are y'all mm -hmm. That God breathed in the man's nostrils. Mm -hmm. That spirit in and in brought that body to life, now man became a living person, Amen. a living being separate from the earth and separate from God. Right here, that's Genesis 2 and 7. So once he became, and some translation says, living being instead of living soul, separate from God, separate from the earth. Mm -hmm. It is own self-determination, own consciousness, own awareness. Mm -hmm. Right here, right here. The spirit existed and the body existed, but there was no living being. Amen. Amen. So God bent over, or how he done, to the nostrils of man and said, Amen. So, thank God for it. We said God is a spirit. A spirit does not have breath. So what did God breathe into man's nostrils? 16th chapter of them, 27th verse, said God the God of the spirits of all things. Mm -hmm. From chapter Hebrews the night verse said, God is the Father of the spirits of all flesh. He's the Father of all spirits. So what God breathed in the man's nostrils when he created Adam from the dust of the earth was spirit. Man. Spirit, body, no soul. But the moment they connected, they created a living being, yeah. a soul, a person. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Man. You follow what I'm saying? So man was originally spirit, then it became flesh. Amen. So we get we need to grasp this. 
Once that spirit that didn't have no personality went into man's body, it took on personality, it took on form, it took on shape, it took on soul. It became that person. Mm -hmm. So when the spirit leaves the body, it looks like that person. Right. That's it. Are you hearing? Mm -hmm. Are you hearing? Amen. Amen. So when your body grows old and weak and feeble, and for some reason or another dies, your spirit man steps out. <laughs> Twelve chapter book of Ecclesiastes said to go back to God who did it. That's Amen. right. Paul said for the saints to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Amen. 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 So when we understand that, then we start thinking of ourselves as being just physical beings and start thinking of ourselves as being spirit beings that have a physical body. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 I'm going to share this and y'all have to get back to this about spirit I'm going to stay with you. If you are aware that you're a spirit being, that you're the pilot in that body, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That you, you are, y'all ever seen them robotic moves where they got a big robot? Yeah. They got people on the inside moving the mm -hmm. gears and all that stuff to make them move. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's it. You got it? Yeah. You got it. Yeah. So they can come out of it, the robot. They're witches and walls and sorcerers and people of different religions that have learned how to do that. Yeah. Right. Don't do it, saints. That's right. If you don't do it by the power of the Holy Ghost, don't do it. Don't be trying to learn how to travel in your spirit, man. Mm -hmm. But without the Holy Ghost, you're unclothed. You're naked. Man. Mm -hmm. Come on. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. You hear what that is for big practice. Mm -hmm. Spirit. And that means as he wins. Thank you. Yeah. But you got people that are sitting there. And, and, and I'm going to get back there. <laughs> There's a whole lot of stuff I know I don't share, but I'm sharing it today. You got a whole lot of people that sit there and they'll get these cameras. And they'll set them cameras up. And they'll meditate on the cameras. And then transcendental meditation teaches you how to meditate where you can sense your spirit. Yo. Hello. Sometimes I don't react because 
you know, not appropriate in some places. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes I can't help it. It hit me so hard, I might stand up. Hey, One time I stood up so fast, the chair went flying. Mm -hmm. In the restaurant. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 I wasn't in church trying to show out. <laughs> and make you think I was spiritual. Mm -hmm. I was in a restaurant talking about the goodness of God <laughs> and get a revelation. And that revelation hit me in the pit of my stomach and I came up out the chair and I just stood straight up and walked it off. But that chair was flying. <laughs> I, I would have got the chair and come back. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. No, I ain't jump up and start dancing. <laughs> I would have been making a sound that was not recognized. Right. Amen. Amen. Teach out the book of First Corinthians. Amen. So I had to make a sound that was recognized. Amen. <laughs> On the 14th chapter, I forgot y'all. 14th, this is 13th chapter, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, being a spirit being and consciously aware that you're spirit beings, here's why I'm wrong. The enemy can attack your mind. Throw your mind in complete confusion and bewilderment. But hear me, saints of God. By your spiritual hands, you can reach up and bring your mind under. Thank you, Lord. Because God gave you the spirit of a sound mind. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. So they call, they call we are, and, and see this this is the thing that has hurt us. And and have been hurt and still hurt us. You still got ministers that want to feed your flesh and not your spirit. Because they are and may and may they get understanding that they, they listen to me. Because I don't want to offend them, I want them to grow. Listen. If any preacher thinks that he can reach everybody, he's a fool. Amen. Amen. You're right. You can't reach everybody. That's You're right. only one person. Amen. But if I can help one, and that one help one, that one help one, that one help one, that help one, after a while, they be to reach the whole world. Amen. 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 But most folk don't think like that. Mm -hmm. So if I empower you saints, mm -hmm. then you're going to reach those around you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But if I keep you dumbed down, you can't even help yourself. No. So you always be coming to me. Yeah. But I want you to know that God gave you the spirit of power. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Look at the next day. God gave you a spirit of power. God gave you a spirit of power. Spirit of power. Not feeble, not weak, not crippled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. But a power. Amen. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Woo! My mama, my Woo! Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. You don't sense God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Somebody said, what are you talking about? First of all, the Holy Spirit is already here. Amen. But when you become aware, mm -hmm. it'll affect you. Mm -hmm. Read why it don't affect you because you're not aware. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You ever been sitting in a room and, and, and you just and me, I had your eyes closed and somebody walk in. Right? And they walk in and you can hear them come in. Mm -hmm. And then you open your eyes, oh, I didn't know you were there. <laughs> So when you become aware, when you become aware, when you become aware, when you become aware, it affects you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And sometimes when you become aware of certain things, depending on what it is, it's going to affect you in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Amen. But when it comes down to God, it affects you in a good way. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that, that, that we all should be aware of, he'll never leave you. That's it. Glory to God. Thank you. So what does that mean? His ever abiding presence he is always with you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Always. Always. So no matter how my body feels, he, the Holy Ghost, the parent of the divine 
once sent them on to help us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's present. Mm -hmm. Not the free load. Mm -hmm. Not the hitchhike. Mm -hmm. Not to beat his way through life. No. But to help me. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But to help you. But to help you. Hallelujah. I'm not needing to help us, said the Lord. Thank you. But I will come to you. He said, I pray the Father and send you another confidence, another helper that will lie with you for help. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Ghost said, I didn't come to free love. No. I didn't come to hit your hike through life. Yeah. Mm. I came to help you live this what Jesus said you can be. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So when we begin to become mm -hmm. conscious and aware of that, mm -hmm. and we begin to walk as spiritual beings, mm -hmm. we have access to divine ability. Yes. Mm -hmm. One of the attributes is wisdom. Mm -hmm. Another is understanding. Understand. Another is counsel. Mm -hmm. That's advice. Mm -hmm. Another is might. Mm -hmm. That's ability. Hallelujah. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. Another is to know God, the knowledge of him. And the other, the fear of God, which is the beginning of wisdom. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when we when we become aware of God, become aware that's what the Holy Spirit in our life is to do, then we start yielding to that. Amen. And stop trying to make him something that he's not. Amen. Ministers who actually play on people's flesh is because they're in the mature. Right. Mm -hmm. They think that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. When I see you light up on the in the spirit, and when I see that which is hovering over you, come down on you, I know you go with them. I know you tap <coughs> them. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy. Mm -hmm. But when that don't happen, I ain't happy. You can be running down these aisles, rolling all over the floor. Don't be able to do it for me. Mm -hmm. But it didn't get in. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, oh, say it. Come on. Glory. Glory. Mm -hmm. Glory. Mm -hmm. Glory. Mm -hmm. Glory. How do I keep that guy? Mm -hmm. I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. Once the light and the spirit of God comes in, and that revelation comes in, and it bursts in you, mm -hmm. don't let them take it from you. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, don't play with the devil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no matter what comes after that mm -hmm. to make you think otherwise, mm -hmm. submit to God and mm. resist that. Amen. Amen. Well, that's because you're in the flesh. Amen. Get in the spirit and you'll know. Amen. 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 You know what? You have the spirit of power. Mm -hmm. You have been divinely enabled mm -hmm. to do the works of Christ. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Divinely empowered mm -hmm. and equipped to rule and reign. Hallelujah. To have the dominion. Mm -hmm. To subdue. Yeah. The kadosh rada. Yeah. yeah. Look. To subdue and have dominion. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, what? All God's enemies. Woo. But he gave you how to tread on serpents and scorpions and over what? Oh. All what? All. All what? All. The power of the enemy. Yes. Mm -hmm. He gave you power to what? Sure. Tread yes. or walk on, rule over, have dominion over all the power of the enemy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. His word is true. Yes. Receive it. Mm -hmm. He did not leave you helpless. Yes. No. Hallelujah. He gave you the divine enabler. The Holy Spirit. Hello, somebody. To empower. Jesus said, Jesus said, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But I want you to wait for him in Jerusalem. Until he equips you. Thank you. In other words, don't go do anything now. Because I'm, I'm sending uh, until he equips you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. To endue you with power mm -hmm. from on high. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Jesus said, after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Acts 1 and 8, you shall receive power. power. Yeah. After the Holy Ghost come into your life, ah. he said, you receive power. power. Yeah. Glory. Dunamis. Woo! Glory. When did you receive it? When the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost came, came into your life. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Divine, you receive divine ability, the ability to do what God does when the Holy Ghost came into your life. Mm. But you, man, you've gone and lost your mind, Pastor. I lost my mind over 40 some odd years ago. Amen. Hello. Amen. Almost 50 years ago. Mm. You crazy. I'm not crazy. Amen. I have a spirit of a sound man. Amen. I'm talking God still. Amen. Written in the book. What are you talking about? How you feel and from your personal experience? Amen. I'm talking stuff that's going to last throughout all of eternity. Amen. 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 What you building your life on stuff? How you feel? What you think? Yeah. What you think uh, I'm amen. building my life on something that ain't going to never fail. Yes. Amen. It's for all southern and Amen. 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 So the scripture said, now listen, listen. And see, this is what I'm saying about believing God's word now, and it's based on your measure of faith that you have in God's word. Now mm -hmm. under him. Mm -hmm. That is able. Yeah. That do. Exceed. Mm -hmm. Abundant. Mm -hmm. Above all. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 3 and 20. That's it. That we ask for our thing. Mm -hmm. Above all. Above all. What do you mean? So, if the power that's working in you can do exceeding abundance above all that you could ever ask a thing, that sounds like God power to me. That's it. Well, maybe uh -huh. your brain's small. Maybe your imagination is little. <coughs> but I have a vivid imagination. Uh -huh. so I imagine things beyond. Glory be to God. <laughs> Most people imagine God as being something you can define and measure. I imagine God as being undefined. Amen. Mm -hmm. Beyond all this. Now that the Holy Spirit have entered into your body, what is that saying? Mm. 
The divine and ain't blood. Ain't something in your body that just sit there? No, you're giving me life. The book said, by my God, I ran through a troop. By my God, I leaped over a wall. So what did the Holy Ghost do? He enabled their body to run through that truth. He enabled their body to leap over that wall. Amen. So that spirit gave life animation to that body. Woo! Thank you. David Thank you. said, one day there was a bear that came and grabbed the lamb from the flock. David said, what did he mean, Pastor? I'm telling you what he meant. He said, by the enablement and ability that my God gave me, I grabbed the bear by his beard and I smoked him. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! The Holy Spirit inside of you is like your spirit animating your body. If you yield to him, he will enable your body with divine ability. Jesus! Lord, David got the bragging and said, one day a lion came and grabbed one. And by the God that I serve, I was enabled and equipped, and I grabbed that lion by his beard. And I slew him. Beyond a shadow of doubt that I am divine and able with ability to lift up stuff that's heavier than I am. Yeah. Tell on somebody. Yeah. I'm in divine ability to do craft work that I can't do yeah. on my own. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. I've done it so many times. Yeah. By yielding to the Spirit of God that's in me. Let him do it. Hallelujah. How you do that? How you don't? Thank you. Praise God. Praise his name. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make a flesh his arm. But blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. That's how I do it. I don't trust in me. I trust in the God. Hallelujah. He's able. Well, how did you get there? My father, the gospel, the man that prayed me through, told me to get in the Bible. Thank you, Jesus. And read him Genesis and Revelation. I've been in there ever since. I know who you are. And the more I get in, the more I know I don't know. I'm going to read it. The more I study that book, the, the more I realize I don't know. So I keep studying. Because the crying mind want to know. And I got a crying mind, I want to know. Amen. And I shall know the truth. And you shall know the truth. And the truth will do what? Make me free. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of you been having an infection in your ear. I repeat that right now. I Hallelujah. Die in the name of Jesus. Be healed and receive your healing. Right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Right now, Jesus name. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So when we when we start yielding to this spirit, yielding, giving over to the Holy Ghost in us, and allow it. See, most people think giving into the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That not what? Where is that in the Bible? <laughs> where is that in the script? It ain't in there. So we came up believing in Pentecost that that was yielding to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I've learned from God that the reason why people act like that when the Holy Ghost come on them, because they're not yielding. Because yeah, yeah. so they're fighting. Yeah. He wants to use them to do something, and they are there fighting. Yeah. Hey! When there's a shortage in your wall, it's sparking in general, right? Sometimes you even hear that wild bumping. No, they're not connected right. So when you connect it right and the flow is smooth and there's nothing stopping it, you don't hear nothing. But you see the lights. You see the hour on your stove turn green. Preach! Yeah. The spirit of power. 
and he exercised that access mm -hmm. by acting on it. Mm -hmm. What he showed, he believed it. He got so yielded to the Holy Spirit. The Bible actually said that he would walk down the street and the Holy Ghost was so much in his shadows mm -hmm. that the sick bodies were healed and, mm -hmm. and demonic people were delivered. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding that? From his yes. shadows. Yes. Yes. From shadows. his shadows. Oh, yeah. The presence of God was so in his shadows mm -hmm. that people were delivered from his Some shadows. Was mm -hmm. Paul was so anointed that they took cloth from his robes and stuff and made handkerchiefs and aprons out of it and sent it to people and people were healed and delivered. Mm -hmm. That was somebody. Mm -hmm. so you got folk trying to mimic that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you touch their skin, they ain't going to know them. I'm going to say y'all may not get this. The Holy Spirit is tangible. Mm -hmm. I sense and feel them all the time. Mm -hmm. But you, 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 and some of you be around me sometimes, they feel it. And they said, what is that coming out of you floor? This is me. Mm -hmm. and, they, they, and some people been around me, they said, man, it's like fire around you. Mm -hmm. Feel the heat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Him, the Holy Ghost. Holy the Holy Ghost. That one guy sitting in the table with me, he said, man, it got like fire around here. What was that? I said, oh, the Lord. Mm -hmm. You'll manifest himself like that sometime when I be talking about sonship. Mm -hmm. See that? Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Pastor, what make it? You different. I ain't different. All the day. All the work. First Peter 1 and 23. Being born again. Not a corruptible seed. But incorruptible. Of the word of God. Which lives and abides for him. Yeah. I'm going to put on the show. Pretend. See, root workers can, uh, and, and witches and stuff can discern stuff that's going on in your life. Have gone in your life. But only a man and woman of God can speak stuff into your life. Mm -hmm. And they come to pass. That's right. Y'all got that? Amen. That's the difference. The devil know what he's doing. He knows. Yeah. He knows what's going on and have gone. Yes. But to be able to speak into your life and cause stuff to happen in your life, mm -hmm. that's the mark of a true woman and man of God. That's right. Amen. But we are so caught up with, they knew what I, they knew, they knew. Yeah. <laughs> but did it help you mean? <laughs> did it change anything? Mm -hmm. Not a thing. Mm -hmm. Not zero. Amen. But they fascinated with that. Curious, like what we eat. <laughs> Hello? Amen. They keep running back, they end up bound up, can't believe God, because guess what? Mm -hmm. They gave up their faith mm -hmm. for something that they thought they could see and experience. Mm -hmm. Amen. Without faith. You know why a man and woman of God who speaks up in your life is coming back? Because they believe God. That's it. And if you believe in them, it happens every day. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm for real. Mm -hmm. If you believe that you're a man and woman of God and they speak over your life, everything they say comes back. The only reason why I won't because you're not connected. Mm -hmm. If you connect it, it'll happen every single time. Amen. Every single time. Every single time. Every. There are people that be, be making me scared. Call me talking about stuff. I'm going to go way back. I ain't going to talk about something just happened the other day. I'm, I, I say that the next year. <laughs> <laughs> way back, on way back. If you asking me to do it, but if I ask you, but I know you ain't going to get me. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. That someone can have that much faith in their man or woman of God. That they think God won't hear them, but they know God will hear them. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. And guess what? He did, too. Hey, I, ain't hey. <laughs> I know God hit me always. That's not what I'm talking about. Because of their, what they had done. Yeah. I didn't think that God would hear me. Right. Amen. But because I asked him. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Um, Amen. Love. That's the 26th chapter of the Joel. Yeah. 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 But because I asked him. Yeah. That's why he done it. Amen. And he had to show me why he done it. Read the 26th chapter, last part of Chapter you get it. Yes, it so I'm saying, don't let the devil, by what's going on around you, distract you from what's in you. Mm -hmm. Paul said, Christ in you. Hallelujah! Yes, Christ Paul. in you. Thank you. Colossians 1 26. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. Not Christ in heaven. Not Christ in somebody else. 
But Christ in you is the hope of glory. Amen. So make sure you believe in the God that's in you. Amen. He did not give you a spirit of fear. Mm. But a power. Wow. He gave you his ability. Mm -hmm. I remember one time I was being moved by the Spirit of God, and a friend of mine was going through a whole lot, and it was constant, constant. And I said, and God had never told me, I never, I mean, I've been in ministry for a long time. I've never had God tell me to do this. God said, lend him your soul. Mm. I heard it just clear thing, lend him your soul. So I looked at him and I said, the Lord told me to lend you my soul, so I'm lending you my soul. You better be strong to handle that thing. <laughs> that thing ain't to give it to me. You better be strong to handle that thing. Oh, it, it is. <laughs> but I did. I gave it to him. He, I mean, he welded it too. Thank you, Jesus. I'm serious. He welded it too. And they took him through some mighty, mighty battles. He came out victorious. Thank you, God Jesus. told me. See, some young person hear that and they go out and try it. They'll, they'll go through the pool and preach all your hand and go say, I'm going to lend you my soul. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Why can't you do that? Because, see, my soul mm -hmm. is his soul. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory. Hebrews 4 and 12. You know, mm -hmm. yes, my soul mm -hmm. is his soul. Yeah. I think it was the sixth chapter of Ephesians. Mm -hmm. Word of God and sword, protect the sword of the spirit, yeah. which is the word of God. Mm -hmm. So it's his soul. Mm -hmm. so, so he had to give me permission to let somebody. Because I, I ain't make no sword. I ain't right here. No, 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 no iron master and be that crap and be that no sword. Mm -hmm. it, it's not my sword, it's his soul. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I was able to give them because the master of the sword told me I'd give it. Yeah. So I'm going to go out here and get excited and get thrilled and mimic, mimic me and, and get somebody killed. Amen. <laughs> they go out there and pick a bed of battle and they think they got that sword and they're going to start welding and they end up digging. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Amen. Amen. And you got a lot of people that there. And that's why I like hype. Hype is just what it is. Hype. That's it. Y'all understand that? Mm. I don't have to hype you up. I'm telling you the truth. That's right. Now, if that hypes you up, you go to war with it. Yeah. Amen. You go right on the battlefield with a thousand demons and win. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. Walk out there, use a bold and rodacious and say, y'all ain't got no minutes in my way, I'm going to slay all of y'all. Amen. And if you know what I know, you better get going because it's about, I'm about to take you out. Amen. And start rolling that so much. Y'all know what I'm saying? Amen. You start cutting them down. Amen. And don't even have to be afraid. Amen. No, God didn't give you spirit of fear. For the power. Thank you, Lord. And the love. love. And of the sound of mind. He gave you the spirit of divine ability. Mm -hmm. And your spirit animates your body, give it life. The Holy Ghost can animate your body because he's in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody said, yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, yeah. 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 I don't mind letting him drive. Mm -hmm. I said, you can take the ring anytime you want to do, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I trust you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I trust you. Amen. Take my mouth, take my hand, take the feet, take do it. It's your body. Yeah, Amen. Do what you want to do with it. Amen. Will be well. Thank you. Amen. And I say the same thing. You say trust the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Believe that God didn't send him in your life to be a free Lord. Mm -hmm. Trust who? Mm -hmm. Trust him. He's here to help you become all God said you're supposed to be. He is the one that is changing you, transforming you into the image of Christ. Let him work. Let him work. Let us pray. Father, we're grateful and thankful thank for the word you've given us today. And how that word is going to rest in place in your people's heart. And I know that the Holy Spirit is going to take this, this, this word and mold and shape them to be what you call them to be, giving them the confidence and awareness that he's in them and he's with them. And that they have been able to do the works of Christ. Thank you. And in your precious name, Lord Jesus, I pray. That one said, Amen. Amen. Amen again. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. We spoke a few words out there during the time ministry as I picked it up and God was moving. But if, if it's that a young man or a grown man, you may have a problem with your prostrate. If you can believe God with me, in the mighty name of Jesus, I repeat that infection, whatever it calls you. What's ever going on with it? And I pray that right now it returns to 
precious name of Jesus of Nazareth, you are healed. Thank you, thank you Father. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. And amen. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you that are watching my way of Facebook and YouTube. Sorry you couldn't be here with us. It's an awesome presence of God up in here. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad my antennas are up. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm tuning into the right channel. Amen. Because I'm telling you, God, 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 God. Thank you. He is so good and gracious. Amen. 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 If you desire to support this ministry, we we were trying to stream by a new device, but it did not work. I'm about to figure out what happened. But if you'd like to support this ministry, you can send it in through our cash app. The dollar sign, the love, L O B E, 3921. Or you can mail it in at PO Box 769, Dillon, South Carolina, 29536. If you want to email me, you can email me at my email for about very seldom. Check the ministry email. Agape, A G A P A E 9, at yahoo.com. And I will get it and I'll